Hello guys, how are you? My name is Ordinary, and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. So you may be wondering, hey, why are you playing this game now? It's the game is like three years old. Have you never played this game? Actually, yeah, uh, I played this once. It took me three weeks to finish it. Uh, you wonder why? Because this game is probably like uh, two or three hours of reading. Because I was genuinely so scared that I cannot continue, and I just you know uh, midway I just lost the game and take a rest for a while. <laughs> I probably just like read two or three dialogue and then stop playing again because I was so scared. Yes, I was that pussy. If you check like my previous gameplay when I play Phasmophobia, you already know. I'm not really good at horror games. But this game is different. Because not only this game scares me, it's it actually traumatized me. I can still see the, you know, the moment. <laughs> uh, and uh, I decide that that's enough. I was, I must move on. It's been three years, god damn it. I must overcome my old trauma and finish this game properly because Actually, I heard that there is a good ending where you need to do some stuff to unlock it. And I never see it. I always want to see what happened. But uh, I was so scared, so I uh, declined and declined and declined. And then, before you know it, three years has passed. So yeah, uh, that's the uh, the context why I playing this for now. I'm scared, man. <laughs> I, I I actually scared now. <sighs> I hope I won't die. Okay, so since the first part is kinda slow and you guys probably already know what's gonna happen, I'm just gonna skip into the real deal. And uh, we should be in good ending now be because uh, to get into good ending, you must uh, complete all the CG. So the way you do it is you choose one character, one girl, and then uh, before the <sighs> this is the moment uh, everything should be right but she really leaves me no choice no 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 <laughs> no uh, I'm not ready <sighs> okay okay this is it this is it ordinary you can do this. I gently open the door. Oh! Oh! <laughs> no! <sighs> no! <laughs> You know the the incident happened. Uh, you load the game and start from the beginning and choose the other girl until you get all the CG and the scene. And here we are. Oh. You know. 
I'm not ready. <laughs> I will say to you, I'm not ready. Because... Oh... Chill down my spine already. And it's not even begun yet. But, uh, I saw it again. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's continue then. So... Yeah, something stuff's gonna happen. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is... Yeah, we know who she is, but she's gone now. My, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, it might be feel like, uh, you think I'm like, uh, overreacting to this, but I don't know, my body is reaction, uh, react naturally. Whenever I try to click next, uh, I feel shiver. My body is shivering. This is more difficult than I thought before. You know, the kind of friend you never seen, you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. I wonder why. <laughs> And I will get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of crosswalk and let blank catch up to me. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna survive tonight. It's an ordinary school today like the other. Morning are usually the worst. Being surrounded by couples and friends, groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But. I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by the average while spending my free time on games and anime. <laughs> so do I, man. There's always the anime club, but it's not it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school days is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I knew it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most, most of them will probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. Oh. I already out of my breath now. <laughs> uh. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Kochia? <laughs> oh, Monica. Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. Isashiburi <laughs> des. It's been a while, right? Ah. Yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We don't know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but 
we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. You already know the drill. You already know who she is. We all know. <laughs> Basically, completely out of my league. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come to uh, I'm sorry. What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to, to use for my club. Wink wink. <laughs> Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You are in the debate club, right? Ahaha. <laughs> <coughs> About that, I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd just rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. VTuber club. <laughs> I'm sorry. In that case, why uh, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that I uh, should expect the glitch around. Uh, literature club. L literature. Li How do you say that? Say that. Literature. That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Ano? Ahaha. <laughs> Cute. It's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Oh, I can see that. But it seems, uh, I'm sorry, it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature? Oh, you know, I'm gonna die to, uh, by, by beating my tongue when I say literature before <laughs> from the jump scare. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keep her manga collection in the club room. Majide? Hontoni? <laughs> yeah, it's funny, right? This always insist insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. I agree. And besides, a member's a member, right? <gasps> my sims, my sims sense are tingling. <laughs> Did Monica say she? <laughs> huh. Hey. Kochia? By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah, uh, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? 
I won't ask you to join, but if you could at least very, uh, I'm sorry, if you if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please. Uh, well, I guess I have no reason to re refuse. Refuse? I'm sorry. You know, my English is already broken. Uh, but uh, it becomes so much worse because my mouth is shaking, trembling. You know, <laughs> so I'm sorry if I pronounce something. Weird, like strangely, I cannot help myself. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome! So go it is, ne? You're really sweet, Kochia. You know that? It, it's nothing really. Shall we go then? I look for the materials another time. You are more important. Or maybe it's just an excuse. Yeah, it's just an excuse. We are, we all know. <laughs> and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Ooh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> Fuck me, man! Fuck me! Fuck! I don't care anymore, I'm, I'm gonna swear, fuck this! Why am I such a pussy? Ah, oh. I'm back! And I brought a new guest with me. Oh. <laughs> eh? Uh, a guest? Seriously? You broke a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Uh, uh, don't be so mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Kochia. Triple dot. Classic visual novel. Triple dot. All words escape me in this situation. This club. Is full of incredible cute girls. Same. So, let me guess. You are Monica's boyfriend, right? What? Not yet, Natsuki. <laughs> no, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with this sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Uh, anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. Genki. <laughs> and this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. I miss you too, Yuri. <laughs> I miss you too. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. You know, I, I gotta be honest. Uh, even though this is like the first, uh, you know, like uh, I already played this game once. It's it was three years ago, so I don't remember most of it <laughs> actually.
yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So, I ran into Kochia in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the, cl the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica? Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you broke another meal? I was going to, well, you know. <laughs> I mean, ahaha, ah, ah, ah. go man, go man. <laughs> I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Kochia? Wait! Wait! The fuck? Wait, I, I never see that, but... Wait! Is that fucking not a uh, Sayori in the background? The hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> This mess up, man. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't realize that when I first played. Oh my god. That's fuck up. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's all coming to back. My face is already trembling now. Soon I w I cannot feel my face anymore. The girls have a day, uh, a few days arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? Just take me home, man, to the place I belong. West Virginia? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many, not many, many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes, uh, it makes cool events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm sorry, I, I still cannot look away to the Sayori's picture at the background it distracted me I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate right Natsuki oh. <sighs> my heart skipped a bit whenever something pop up because I expecting something spooky gonna happen well I guess Natsuki uh, reluctantly agrees. Such different goals. All interest in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of, uh, each of us before setting down 
the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom. In this classroom, I mean. Uh, don't worry, the teacher give us permission. After all, doesn't hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I guess. Hehehe. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. <laughs> eh? Uh, that's not... Insulted? Yuri looks away. I... mean that, you know? I believe you. Yeah, I believe you, baby. <laughs> Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Tea gang? Of course, I prefer tea over coffee. Uh, coffee? I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Kochia, what kind of things do you like to read? Konosuba like novel. <laughs> well, ah, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way to answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Relatable. AF. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorite are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. I, re I can relate that. I also like this when the story has deep world building. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walk in. But it's obvious by the way. Uh, I mean, by the way her like up I'm so sorry but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books not people but you know I like a lot of things stories when oh, with deep psycho psychological elements usually immerse me as well Isn't it amazing how writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Foreshadowing? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. <laughs> I desperately grabbed something I can relate to a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Ahaha, uh -huh. I expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. 
Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. And Dan Salvato, you did it. You changed my whole world. You, you traumatized a man. Ah, <laughs> uh, I had horror. Oh, what's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? Nani? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Looked like you were working on a poem called. Don't say it out loud, you bitch! <laughs> I'm sorry. And give that back! Fine, fine. Uh, Natsuki, you write your own poems. Eh? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Honestly, that's impressive. I cannot write poem at all. Why don't you share with them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not even confident writer yet. I'm sorry, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing the level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerable. Fuck! Vulnerable. Come on! <laughs> you know, Yuri, I love you, but please don't say complicated word to me. I cannot read that. Vulnerabilities. I did it. And showing even the deepest reach of your heart. Do you have writing experience to Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Cute. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. Really, Monica? The idea just popped off your mind. I see. <laughs> How about this? Oh, Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go, go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll, each, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Ah. Uh, Triple dot. Ah, uh, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of vice president after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Kochia? 
Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forward with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica might have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and... Uh, I lost my train of thought. All three girls stared back at me with the gen eyes. But... but I, I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> cute Everyone is cute I gotta be honest, everyone is cute But You're still the best girl <laughs> Eh? The girls exchange glance before Monica Turns back at me uh, To me I guess I need to tell you the truth, Kochia The thing is we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying to really, really hard to find new members. And if, if we don't find one more before the festival, I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, Right. Okay, I decided then. I'll join the literature club. God damn it, it's still hard to say that word. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Kochia? Yeah, it could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. You, you guys already scared me since the beginning. Okay, <laughs> calm down. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I'll be super pissed. Kochia. I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Pachi pachi pachi. <laughs> Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Great time. Super down. Ah, thanks I guess. Okay everyone, I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting, so we all can, uh, we, we can all share. Monica looks over at me once again, once more. Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Kochia, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hehehe. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. 
I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. <laughs> I can't wait. Whew. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between all three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Oh my god, I feel the chills now. Every time the transition happens. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstance. And I'm sure good fortune will find me. And... I guess the start with writing a poem tonight. Oh, <laughs> special poem. God damn it. Yes, please. Start at the dot to reveal a special message. I love you. Oh, it's happening. Oh. It's just I've... I'm so sorry. I cannot feel my face. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Literally my face and my entire body is trembling I'm gonna save and I think I need a time for a moment <sighs> oh. oh my god my face my face! I cannot feel my face! Oh, oh, oh. Nothing happens yet, but... Oh. I have panic attack now! Okay, calm down. Calm down. Okay. I need... I need time. I need time. Alright. I'm back. You have no idea how long did I take a break. <laughs> but yeah, I need a moment. So, for now, uh, since uh, last playthrough, I choose Yuri for this part. Because you know, you're the best girl. So now I'm curious, uh, what happened if you choose Natsuki instead? I actually never see it because I only played once and that's it. <laughs> I... So I don't know what's gonna happen. So let's go then. So Fluffy, Joy, oh no, wait, Joy is... Oh, I think Joy is for uh, Sayori. Party. Uh, Doki Doki. May so something cute. Childhood. Milk. Love. Pout. Candy. Anime, of course. Of course! <laughs> Music. Bunny 
and play giggle laugh cheer um swimsuit suicide <laughs> no <laughs> pure kisu kisu stene oh fuck at least the, the background is gone now Haigen Kochiya? Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Yeah, Monica, I'm back. Well, I'm back at the late Charter Club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for keeping your promise, Kochiya. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive hard first into literature when you are not accustomed to it. Oh. <laughs> fuck! Fuck, Natsuki! Fuck you! Oh! Oh. oh my god. Oh, don't scare me like that. I and the music's weird now. Stop acting up. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. You really had to be dragged here by Monica. I mean, you already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. No, you. <laughs> oh my god, uh, I feel kind of dizzy because of, because, yeah, I'm aware the background is tilting now. It makes me dizzy. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Oh. <laughs> She's coming out. I cannot even read it. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. <laughs> manga is literature! <laughs> Cute. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Uh, I'm sorry, Kochiya. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Uh, anyway, now that you are in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. Well, do you have the latest chapter of Konosuba? Just kidding, Konosuba is already over. <laughs> I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So, it only feels right for me to do something like that, You, if you ask. Uh, wait, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, I mean... Ooh. <laughs> if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Ah, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be part of this club. Oh my god, I'm start to get so dizzy now. Could you stop? So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? I just feel like... Well, as vice president at all... Oh cute, making excuse and stuff... That I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. 
So, I pick out a book that I might, uh, I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. Oh, uh, how thoughtful! And we could, you know, <laughs> discuss it if you wanted. Th this is. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Yes, kawaii desu ne! Kawaii! Yuri-san! She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri! Thank you! I'll definitely read this. I... God damn it! Enthusias... And... Come on! <laughs> Fuck me! Enthusiastically. Enthusiastically. Take the book. I did it. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. It's also implied in this visual novel, I, I assume. <laughs> I look forward to hearing what you think. Oh, oh, oh my god. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her in intense expression. Like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the in the closet. Uh, I heard Natsuki utter an exasperate sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Oh my god. <laughs> you looking for something in here? In there? <laughs> Fucking money. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Okay, uh, I actually read this uh, yesterday because uh, I need to I need to prepare to get to the good ending, so I need to read every scene, in including this one. But. <laughs> Not the fucking money counting. Nasuki slides a bunch of sketchbooks and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Ah, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know anyway? I heard you being uh, bringing up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Uh, I see. There's a long volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatched it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slip the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better! Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the work. 
Oh, I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Perfect Girls. It's a series I've never heard in my life. That probably means it's either the way of my demographics or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go down, uh, go do it through the glass of that door. She pointed to the classroom door. <laughs> Cute. Very kawaii. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was a tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Kochia. <laughs> Don't just a book something. In fact, Nasuke pulls out the first volume of Perfect Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoved the book right into my hands. Ah, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Don't just stand there. Wah, <gasps> wah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Nasuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. Window sills, I mean. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Pachi pachi, <laughs> wouldn't chair be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can read at the same time like this. Like that, I mean. Eh? What's that? Ah, I guess it's, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Slide into your DMs. <laughs> ah, don't just say that. Baka. You'll make me feel weird about it. Nasuki crossed her arms and scooch an inch away from me. Uh, sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's uh, it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inch closer, reclaiming the additional space. Fuck. I bit my tongue. Shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Reclaiming the additional space while she hopeless hopes it won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? I 100% can relate to this. Because that's exactly what I think when I read this again, three years after I finished this. Huh? You don't need to go back. Uh, I mean, you don't go back and flip through the older volume every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Are you even paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. Again, it's kind of relatable because the first act of Doki Doki, it's nothing really happened, but it's more like for uh, building the character. Excuse me. It took like 
it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew up of this since it's rare of for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Ooh, cute. Cute CG. You know, despite it's been 3 years, the CG is still wonderful. It's aged really well. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not! Even though you are just watching me read? Uh, well... I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. <laughs> okay, for a story, uh, once I tried to introduce my friend for uh, Jojo, I gave him a uh, part one and he just <laughs> he just laughing and say it's it looks like telenovela <laughs> you know like soap opera honestly yeah i agree but it's still good and yeah he he d doesn't like it you know what i mean huh hmm you don't uh, uh. That's not cute, blessing, fang, lolly. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not. Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your banga with your friends? Could you not drop it in? Jeez. S sorry I mean ah, Sumimasen <laughs> Huh Like I could even get my friends to read this They just think manga is for kids I can't even bring it up without them being alike Eh You still haven't grown out of that yet Makes me wanna punch them in the face <laughs> oh, I know those kind of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitate towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Smooth. Huh? Yeah. That's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it into in my own room. <laughs> my dad will beat the shit out of me if he found this. <laughs> At least he's safe here in the club room. Sub Monica's kind of jerk about it. Ah, oh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, well. <coughs> excuse me. Well, it's not like that solved any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you are enjoying yourself, right? Ah, uh, cute. So? Ah, <laughs> did you get infected by Monica or something, Kochia? Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Uh, yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Triple dot. 
triple up. Another triple up. I don't like when it's going black. I feel like something's gonna happen. Time passes. Nasuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. Oh. Oh. It looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Uh, yeah. Suddenly, Natsuki collapsed strike into me. Oh, fuck me. What the fuck is that? Hey. Oh, oh fuck. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Fuck, fuck, oh. oh. I almost fell down my chair, what the fuck? Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Calm down. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, this happened again. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, Kuchia, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, uh, yeah, I think I, I shot your name, but no, no, it's, I, I just use your name in the game, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, okay? It's, it's okay, it's okay. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know the drill, okay? I I did totally what I'm going to do, so it's fine. I'm okay. I'll uh yeah I'll, I'll stop if if it's too much, okay? But I think I can handle it. Thank you. <sighs> Fuck. Oh jeez. <coughs> Natsuki, are you okay? Uh, no, uh, you should ask me instead. I'm not okay. Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. Oh, fuck me. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give. <laughs> she doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Kochia. She's fine. She's fine. Yes, she's fine. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, I'm not. Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> it just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Did you drug her or something, Monica? Wait, actually that's interesting, like what protein bar? Oh. That sounds suspicious, is that some kind of drug or something? Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Oh fuck me. Okay. I'm sorry if I scares you. I'm s again, I'm such a fucking pussy. I don't even care anymore. I'm not gonna keep like my character like trying to not swear and stuff. I'm done holding myself back. I will die if this keep going on, okay? So I'm sorry if, if I'm sounds rude or mean or something. 
but I hope you enjoy it. If you did subscribe, baby. <laughs> So, for start, uh, I should go with Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yester yesterday. Oh my god, I'm, I'm kinda scared. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Okay, she's fine now. She's fine. Triple dot. Question mark. Okay. Well. Let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, uh... Natsuki rereads my poems. Uh, never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh? Then what's the point of sharing in, in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh... In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when I'm when writing this. Smooth, baby! <laughs> I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Uh Well I would be more comfortable sharing my poems if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poems and make me go, huh? Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you are happy. Ah. Uh, so, in other words, you're saying you're like it. Uh, how dare you! <laughs> I'm sorry. Natsuki retort gets caught in her throat. Uh, you, you're so... You, you just... You... Don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki most must really hate me or something. I can't figure out it in a win or loss that she likes my point. In that case, you still need to show me yours, right? Urgh. Fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Oh, this poem is cute. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horse can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. But that's about it. Oh my god. I expect something spook happen after when I turn down the page. Oh. <sighs> yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. Uh, what? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Uh, well, because everyone in high school think that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So, people don't even take my writing seriously. But, but isn't that point of poems for everyone to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard, like a punch in the gut. Damn it! I'm sorry. Like in its poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice things about simple writing 
is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like it's set up for rhyme at the end. But then when it fall flat on purpose, it helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it that I realized. That's what it means to be pro. I'm glad that you learned something. They didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did ya? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take it that way from her. So next is Yuri, I guess. I'm sorry, Yuri, because this is Monica. Uh, I mean, Natsuki's rod. So I kind of left you behind. Triple dot. Another triple dot. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute pass, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Uh, oh, uh, sorry, I forgot to speak to start speaking. Uh, um, it's fine. I mean, it's fine. Don't force yourself. Uh, I'm not. I just need to put my stuff into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Or uh, yeah. Why did you? Uh, why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so is that bad? Uh, no. Did I just raise my voice? <laughs> I accidentally my raise my voice as well. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help help but notice that it seems several minutes, and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really don't notice. I didn't notice. What are you saying? Right. Uh. It's just that there are says specific writing habits that are usually typical of a new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up at on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in the new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matters, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if she he heard the man the mentor totally change. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writings even simple simple poem. Not just finding them and building them. But getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. It's also that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Bias? How? Uh, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about other people like that. Sorry. It 
it's fine. Okay, oh, so far it's normal, but because the tension skip building because I expect something spooky gonna happen. So the more it's not uh, happening, the rubber is keep stretching. You know the tension rubber. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you have my? Uh, do you mind if I read your poem now? Uh, please do. I love to share my tough process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a real opportunity for her. Which is which is itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a, the a literature club? Goes under the like. The tendrils of my hairs illuminate beneath the amber glows. Batting, it must be like this one. The last remaining sheet like. To have withstood the test of time, the last get, uh, the last get to be replaced by the sickening blue grid hue of the future. I bet calms. I'm sorry, this is hard to read. Breathing air of a present, but living in the past. The light flickers. It flickers back. That's deep. Triple dot. Uh, I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. Not as bad, bad as mine. If you've seen how bad my writing is, you'll be shocked. It's. It looks like some kind of uh, like kindergarten students. Uh, kindergarten kids, you know, when they start to learn how to write. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write long, longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's your first time, it's our first time sharing. I wanted to write something a little more milk, something easy to digest, I suppose. I read into ghosts, Yuri. Uh huh. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Kochia. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well. I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember those that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experience in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subjects of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. You're impressive. It's nothing, really. Well. I'm sorry. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long 
before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep in mind. Uh, I mean, I'll have to keep trying. I I'm counting on you. That's pretty. I mean, I I don't really get point, and I'm not really into like deep tough poem and I prefer like simple thing like Natsuki or what Sayori brought but she's fine she's still cute she's st still the best girl but like it's Monica hi Kochiya having a good time so far I'm sure I did Monica I'm sure I did Seriously, it's like, it's actually fun. If not, I'm not uh, I, I'm not going to stress myself out to playing this. Ah, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you are new and everything, if you ever have a suggestion for the club, like a new activities or things we can do better. I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but... I guess I have to. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Don't worry, Kochiya. We, we are all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's not that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Uh-huh, I like it, Kochiya. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Ah-ha-ha. Uh -huh. Oh, jeez. Uh, no, no. It's kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So, take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. I feel something bitter in my mouth. What the fuck is that? Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then I will skip a snack on you, protein bars. She'll cling to you like a puppy. Aha. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. Natsuki death that Natsuki's death doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house. So she's in a fussy mood pretty often. Damn. You know I haven't really get into close into you know Natsuki background because I was focused in Yuri before. That's kinda fuck up. What are you doing, Dad? But sometimes she just loses all her strengths and shuts down. Oh, so that's why you bring protein bars. I see, I see. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is in fact uh, interfering with her adolescence growth. But hey. Some guys are into petite girls too, you know? <laughs> Don't say that! <laughs> Sorry. Fuck you! As if you just read my mind, you know, like you just you hear what I say. Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. I don't like when you do that, like, 
I just express myself and you respond. You know that Safato, you did it. You fucking did it. You read my mind. Anyway, do you want to read my poems now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. This sounds pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's cause I have sound I have to sound confident. Fair, fair. <coughs> that doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. All in the wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings, but my burdened eyes can no longer see color. Are those others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flaps, flat sheets of paper? Or just combination of one and zero? <laughs> the sounds of frantic scrawling plain tricks on my ears. The rooms began to crinkle, closing in to me. The air I breathe dis dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Sla swallowing my fear, I brandi brandishing my pen. So, what do you think? Huh? It's very freedom, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ahaha, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is. A lot of poems had been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When they perform out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. And epiphany. I gotta be honest, I don't know what that word means. I'm gonna Google that later. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends. With other. Anyway, here's Monica writing tips of the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem or a story, your brains get too fixated on a specific poem, a specific points. I mean, if you try it so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper. And tidy up later. Another way to think about it in is this: if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. You know, actually, my friend gave me this suggestion once, and I completely agree. If you want to write like novel or a poem in this case, just write it down. Just go it and fix it later. It's so much easier. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Ew. Oh, I'm I'm always scared when the transition happen. I guess that's everyone. Oh my god. Fuck you. I glanced around the room. That 
was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities, or judging me for my pussy ass. You know? Even if they just being nice, there, there is no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I end up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes lands on Yuri and Atsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their perspective, poems. As they read the in tandem, I watch each of them express expression change. Azuki at eyebrows for in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Uh, eh? Uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Nasuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say... Uh, I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clear about the feeling of giving up. How can it be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Uh, eh? You mean you have... I mean... You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't mean didn't come out nice at all. Uh, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Huh? If I was looking for suggestion, I would I would have asked for someone who actually liked it, which. People did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Kochia did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestion on my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change my anytime soon, unless of course. I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Damn girl! <laughs> ah. And Kochia liked my poem too, you know? He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh, uh. You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Kochi appreciate my advice more than he appreciate yours. Huh? And how do you know that he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, I... Uh, no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out my way make everything I do overly cutesy. Damn. Uh, well, you're not what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grow a size bigger as soon as Kochia stepped sewing up. <laughs> I know that. I, I know that. Natsuki? Uh, Natsuki, that's little. That doesn't involve you! Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. 
You really act as young as you. Oh fuck, what the hell? As you look, Natsuki. Uh, me? Who was talking? You wanna be edgy, bitch? What the? <laughs> edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of you mental age to comprehend. Stop with the music, please. Uh, see? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you wanna prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Damn, girl. Whoa! Be careful or you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. <laughs> you know, I already know the context. Yeah, Yuri cut herself. But reading it now, it sounds... I guess Natsuki is no as well. Oh yeah. Oh my bad. You already do, don't you? Did, did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Kochiya hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh, 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 suddenly, Yuri turns towards me. As if she just noticed I was standing here. Uh, Kochiya? She, she just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She just starting it. What the food? <laughs> so I guess I just I need to choose, but uh, not okay. I guess not okay. Oh no! <laughs> Come on, just let me pick. Fuck me! <laughs> oh. Hello, Monica. Oh. Okay, you know what? The things that me scared the most is not the noise, it's the silence. Fuck me. Uh, hey, Kochia. Yeah? Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay. Oh my god, I cannot feel my face again. And my back hurts. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. Oh my god, I don't have energy to talk. You know what? I'm gonna eat snack after this. It's like 3 am right now here, but you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna eat snack. I don't care if I get fat after this. I need I need to eat. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll get back inside once they're done yelling. Ahaha. Uh -huh. Some president I am right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. Like Sayori you mean? I'm sorry if I yell. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand right? Anyway, if this makes you feel want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'll be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Ah, oh, she's crying. Poor Natsuki. What did Yuri say to you, man? 
Sis quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they are done. I I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her dates. Desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Kochiya? Please don't hurt me. Please. How could I hurt you, Yuri? I will never hurt you. You know, because I already see that your true self and I still love you. How could I? There is no way. <laughs> I'm not like this. There is something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure your Natsuki will forgive all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Triple dot. Anyway, the meeting is over. So, you can go home if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Silence. Silence. Well, I'm vice president, so... Please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. It's just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Kochia. It would be... Uh, it just be embarrassing with you listening. Ah, I guess I don't really have choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. Oh, fuck! Oh. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Ah, I'm done. Everything's double do is fun for them anyway. 